Hey guys, here's a recent shot that I did and I wanted to show you uh, kind of the process behind um, getting your property photos looking the way that, that they are. And uh, that you don't just go in there and take a picture and it just all comes together and it's magic. So this just gives you a little idea of what it t might take for you know any given shot. So uh, this was a shot uh, that I took for recently for a realtor. And uh, there's a couple of frames, a couple of pictures that, that we're going to take and we're going to blend together. So as an example, here's a shot where I had a flash right over my head. Here's a shot where I had a flash inside this uh, living area over here. And you can see the shadow on the wall over here. We're going to fix that in a minute. And then you have uh, an ambient shot here. Uh, no flash. Actually, there was one over here in the breakfast area. This was my ambient with no flash and it was a little bit on the bright side but that's okay because i kind of want it like that uh, for the ceilings later you'll see then we have two more to expose for the windows to get the view outside as you can see with something like this you can't see out of the window so we're going to take these uh, multiple frames we're going to blend them together i'm going to show you what that looks like uh, just so you can see what it takes to uh, get a finished product for you. So we're going to open these up as uh, layers in Photoshop. It looks like we have six frames here to put together. We're doing a quick alignment and then it's going to reverse the order of these pictures. That's just the way I edit with my workflow for these. There we go. Okay, so we're going to hide some of these and we're going to work on these one at a time. So here's that frame with the flash right above my head. Here's the next one that exposes that living room area much better. You can see the difference uh, just so you can see the colors and there's no harsh shadows in there. So we're going to take that, we're going to put a little mask on there and we want to just bring in what's uh, bright in this image. And we're just gonna start painting in some of the, the flash. Get rid of some of these dark shadows so you can see the living room a little bit better. Now, that gets rid of some of that flash from the initial frame. And over here, you just gotta be careful. There's the fla uh, shadow from the fan from when I uh, took the picture with the flash to the right over here in the living area, so. We just got to be careful of that. We can paint a little bit in because we're going to get rid of that here in a second with the um, ambient frame. Um, here's the next one, flash in the, in the dining area there, which I don't think did too much uh, in that, but we're going to just have a look and see if it does. So, no, that didn't really do too much. Um, pretty bright over there so here's your ambient frame no flash at all this is where we're going to um, change the setting in here so we can just kind of see a little bit of unsaturated uh, regular colors and that gets rid of some of the yellows that I don't really like seeing in the picture so we're gonna drop the mask on that and we're gonna start painting in especially the ceiling so you can get that ceiling looking a little more of a the white color that it actually is before the some of the yellow bulbs might uh, destroy that. We're going to lighten those walls up a little bit and then this fan that's up here in the back we're just going to get rid of that and that kind of hides that uh, shadow from the flash being in the, in the living room so that's looking pretty good. Get rid of some of this shadow Brighten that up just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go for the windows. And this is a really neat process. And really the only way to get a good view from outside in the windows. We're going to go in there. And, uh, whoops, I hit dissolve. Hit the wrong one. Go in dark. And we're going to go in there and kind of paint over these real bright spots. And that's just going to show the view out in the backyard. We'll place that back there. Not the most amazing view, but you still want to see sometimes what is out 
side highlight an area. This is more of just an example because you have the shutters here and really only looking at some green and the playground in the background. But nonetheless, it still makes the image look a little sharper. Okay, now we're going to go for those windows in the uh, living area. Put that in darken mode. And paint those in as well. Get rid of some of that glare on the countertop. Make sure those are all finished, and then that's it. Quick edit, but you got to shoot it right. We're going to flatten that image. Just going to crop it in just a little bit to get rid of some of the edges. Now we're going to switch that back over into Lightroom. And I have a couple of presets that I've um, learned from some of the folks in, uh, that do real estate photography. and. Uh, that's pretty much it. Apply the presets, make sure the verticals are straight so everything looks correct. And that's it, that's the finished product. And um, that's the difference of shooting something like this with multiple frames blended together so you can see everything versus maybe an ambient or two, you're just not gonna get that same look. So you're going from here to here. And that just gives you an idea of uh, some of the process that goes into making your property photos look good. Thanks for watching.